majority of you people probably won't know who I am. I'm a professional actor, um, but I'm a black man. Uh, and uh, I don't want to start preaching, because I'm not a preacher and all that sort of thing. But uh, I can honestly say that um, the last few days in the Western civilization, uh, especially predominantly America and here, and in many parts of Europe, uh, I've seen an elation of... Uh, support against racism that I never thought I'd see in my life. Um, I was born in the 60s, you see. In the, I was raised with a white family, funny enough. Uh, they took me on at 12 days of age and raised me as their own. And the stick they went through back in the 60s with a black child, because they were white, was dreadful. Awful. Um, they've come through it, we've come through it. I call them mum and dad and they call me son, you know. Paul. That's it. So racism in my background was sort of um, well, invisible, didn't, didn't, wasn't there. Until I came to London when I was 21 <laughs> and then I started sampling bits and bobs of racism. Although I can honestly say nothing like what I've seen happen in the US. Um, I've been there numerous times and uh, the way the law enforcement people talk to anybody of a eth different ethnicity, let alone black people, but it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Uh, no way have I seen that sort of behaviour. It might happen over here, but we are nowhere near. We are one billionth of what America's uh, problems envisage in terms of racial inequality when it comes to the way the law, the law enforcement treat us. Oh, I know we've got the occasional bad pebble here as well. You know, but what can I say? Life, you get bad pebbles in every single walk of life. It's just the law enforcement ones. We don't want them there. We don't want them there because they're, they're the ones who rule, and sometimes wrongly, with an iron hand, an iron fist. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm elated. I'm elated. I really am. Um, but uh, what happened to George Floyd was one of many incidents which has been happening in America for, well, it's eased up, believe it or not, since the 60s. The 60s was awful over there, from what I've been told. Martin Luther King did predict a lot of rubbish was due our way at some point to heal this racial inequality that we have uh, predominantly out there still. Um, now, things have, have got better, but on the surface they've got better. Now, really, we need to rethink from deep down. If you want to really change your ways, you've got to re-educate yourself from deep down, not just try and persuade yourself. Re-educate yourself from deep down. And then, you know, now these labels, uh, Black Lives Matter and White Privilege, I'd never heard of them until a few years ago, a couple of years ago. And obviously they only just originated. They, they you know, they morphed into existence. In reality, they shouldn't really, uh, in an ideal world, they shouldn't really need to, uh, have needed to morph themselves into existence because all lives matter. But unfortunately, because certain races have been treated in a bad fashion, by an, on a common scale throughout the whole Western world, suddenly this label appears. Uh, now, I'm all for it. I'm all for Black Lives Matter, but I'm also for All Lives Matter. I really am. And to, to just say that... Uh, and white privilege. Now, I've got a lot of white friends. They're not privileged in many ways, I can tell you that now. They're doing jobs, they're struggling to live, and they're white. Uh, if, the, if the white privilege thing, if the label, obviously it means that you can walk down the street and not be given a, a negative look by somebody because of your skin colour. So I get that, I do. Um, but I think we really, it's not about actually convincing yourself that people are of a different colour are good. It's about re-educating yourself from inside out. <laughs> and that's it. And then you pass that on to generations below. But... Um, We've had a lot of other people, we've had a lot of people in the, in the past um, 30 to 40, maybe since the 60s, convince themselves that colours are all right. There's nothing wrong with colour. On the surface, they convince themselves. But, you know, you try dating one of their siblings and all this sort of thing, or whatever, and you'll say, oh, no, you soon you see that they've only convinced themselves. They've not re-educated themselves. See, somebody said to me that we're all racist if you scratch down deep enough. Well, that needs to be re-educated, doesn't it? You know, that's where the re-education comes in. We shouldn't be thinking such stuff, let alone saying it. You know, racism, basically, <laughs> people are made a different colour, so you can be fascinated by each other. 
not scared of each other or, fear, or, uh, or have any angst against them. Surely it's a fascination, isn't it, to actually see someone of a different colour. You want to learn about them, not look at them and think, oh, God, horrible. What good is that? And people who are racist sometimes, if they're that racist, and you do get them around in bits and bobs, the severely racist ones, who decide they don't want anything to do with any quadrant of their life, they don't want people of a different race involved, they don't seem to understand that some of those people possess such qualities and such education that you could learn from that you're cutting out one quarter of your own sort of education ability by banning those people from your lives. So, it's a bit silly. Re-educating yourself from inside out is the way forward when it comes to getting rid of racism. If you really want to eradicate racism, re-educate yourself from inside out. Don't convince yourself they're all right. Educate yourself about them and find the similarities between yourself and them. And that will bring along, if you educate yourself about that race, be fascinated by them, learn about them, and find the common similarities between the both of you. You're building bridges between the both of you. And those bridges will get stronger and stronger and stronger before you know it. <laughs> Racism won't exist within your life or that person's. So let's, uh, if we're going to do this, let's really do it, shall we? Re-educate yourself from inside out about different races. And I'd like to say just black race, not black race, but there's loads of other races as well. So let's re-educate ourselves about all the races that are on the planet, find the similarities between each other, and go from there, eh? What do you say? Nice talking to you. Oh, and catch my YouTube channel, The Paul Innocent Channel. Sorry, I couldn't get it. I couldn't leave that one out. Peace.